asking you or requesting you to brag about yourself. What is the thing you are most proud about in your career, medical career? Oh, so, no, I'm not thinking because I want to think about what I'm proud of. I'm just trying to say um, it's difficult. I'm just proud of who I am in the sense that uh, I guess it starts by being a, both my kids are not doctors um, uh, and be, though my, many of you know my dad, he's a senior radiologist, he still practices, he's 87 years old. We live in the same building, so for, since the time my twins were born, one meal, the dinner, is always with family, right? Six people sitting together, my dad, mom, Bijalai, and, and the kids. And despite the fact that we would discuss medicine, cases, or maybe because of that, none of my kids even had the slightest interest <laughs> in doing medicine. Sometimes I think I sh we should have actively tried to brainwash them, but then that's not who we are. So, you know, whatever they wanted to do in life, they're doing. And there is where a lot of times this question would come up, you know, that why are they not thinking of doing medicine? Because to me, there is nothing better than being a doctor. The best profession in the world is medicine, right? I mean, I'm proud to be a doctor, I'm proud to be a radiologist, and then everything I do is based on that, focused on that, that's my core being. Another time I realized that is that in 2007, I merged with a company called Wellspring, which was run by Ajay and Swati Piramal, and Dr. Fadke was part of uh, Wellspring. They didn't have radiology, so we became the first radiology practice in the country to become corporate. And it was very heady because then I was made in charge of radiology and then for 18 months, I became, I started doing mergers and acquisitions. You know, I would go to places in India, I would um, give a check and buy a practice it feels very nice, you know, you're buying somebody's practice, so we bought X-ray house in, in, Amdava, in Amdavad and other places. In three months of starting this, by May 27, 2007, I was Jet Platinum. I don't know, you know, when Jet Airways <laughs> had this Platinum um, membership, it means somebody would receive you at the uh, entry to the airport. If you were running late, they would hold the plane for five to ten minutes. It was very heady, you know, I mean, you have all these small, small privileges that get in there. In 2018 end, I also became the CEO of the radiology division. And I remember I was in Shillong, I'd gone for a radiology meeting, and something happened and tears just started coming out, out of my eyes. I was not crying, I had a headache. And I was sleeping four hour days and water came, it's not tears, water. And I realized what an idiot I am. There are enough, should I use that word, idiots, not idiots. There are enough people in this world who can do what I was doing, no mergers and acquisitions, buying practices. You see all these administrators in every hospital, the non-doctors who, who are just there. And they're good enough, whatever they do, you know, whether they, however well or not they run these hospitals and chains or whatever they do. But they can't do what I'm doing, no? As a doctor, as a radiologist, that's the value I provide. So the next day I went, I spoke to Ajay, I told him, uh, you know, I'm done. I don't want to do all this business part, I will focus on my practice, but I will help the managers and give them guidance. That I can do. And he said, yeah, that's what I want you to do. I don't know why you're doing all of this. <laughs> I said, yeah, what is wrong with you? <laughs> so, so that's when I again realized the value of being a doctor and, and for me being a radiologist. And then since that 18 months period where I went haywire into the business world, um, of course, I still run my practice and all of that, but um, 
I just, I constantly, my focus is to just become better and better and better. And eventually you wake up in the morning and, you know, you say, whose life have I changed today? Right? Do I make a difference to somebody's life? We have time, right? Yeah, we have time. So we go on a tangent. Um, I have non-medical friends, school friends especially, who half of them have retired. You know, I'm 58. Some of them mandatory because if they work for corporates, you have to be retired. And then you may or may not be called back as a consultant. Some are in businesses where when they married early, their children are already 28, 30, they are grandparents. They are retired at 58. They have no purpose in life. What does one do with yourself if you don't have purpose in life? When you get up in the morning, you look at yourself in the mirror and you ask yourself, what am I going to do today? What is my life worth? You know, what difference do I make to anybody else's wife and your wife is telling you, get out of the house and leave me alone. You're bugging me. You were never here for 25 years and now you're sitting here on my head. So you don't even know where to go, right? Most of these non-medical people, even if they were corporate CEOs, really have nothing to do after they retire. And you retire at 58, 60, you're going to live another 30 years. What are you going to do with your life? As doctors, you get up in the morning, whatever your profession, there is at least one person's life that you're going to change, usually for the good, sometimes for the bad, whatever it is. But you will change. You make a difference to people. That is what keeps me going. Every day you make a difference to somebody's lives. Wow. That's it. Yeah. Yeah.